Now is a gift. That's why it's called the present. The now. The here and now. Right now. Some would say, it's cliche. Come on, really? Now is a gift? Really? This moment in time? However, 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 we can make note of our past, where we have been before, the person we have been before. But the future is yet to be told. It's yet to unfold. We've yet to experience our future. But something we all understand is how our past could affect our future. And in some cases, hinder our future. But in this case, in this instance, if her past is nothing but dusty men, then she doesn't deserve a high value on. Wait, stop, 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 stop. I know what you think. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Wait, wait, just wait. Now, that does not mean it's impossible for her to get one. That does not mean she will never get one. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the ruining of oneself by willingly, willingly choosing to date such men. Because why after so many dusty men would a woman then try to find a high value one? It doesn't make sense. As a woman, you can't give your best years to dusty men then expect a high value man to want you. But the thing is, but the thing is, Saying that as a man, it sounds misogynistic, doesn't it? Yeah, it's evil. Oh my God, it's evil. Well, this is why the Kevin Samuels videos have been causing havoc. They've been chaotic. <laughs> yes. Oh God. The destructive wave, the wake following those videos is astounding to watch. Admittedly, 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 you know, I'm, I'm dead inside anyway. So, you know, don't use me as an example, but admittedly, it has been so fun to watch. You're average looking at best. Because the truth is a 35 year old woman with a 13 year old son who has dealt with dusty men in her past and her baby father may be a dusty man as well. How can she then think she's of value for a high value man to want her? Not that she shouldn't think highly of herself, but for one to be realistic, options are options. Now is a gift, but in the past, all the gifts and presents you got were exhausted. Given to dusty men? Hey girls, my name is Rochelle. I am the host of the Pretty Life channel here on YouTube. As you can see on the title, I am going to talk about broke men. Yes, the signs that you are dealing with a broke man. Now, some of this is satire. Some people might get butt hurt, but it's okay. I really want to talk about this, so let's get into it. And this, of course, is Replicant Fish. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. The high-flying, impactful Replicant Fish. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. That one was kind of nice. It was kind of epic. And I'm trying to sell it as usual. But hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a very fine and merry day. <laughs> Enjoy the gift of now. Signs of a broke Dusty man, dusty, <laughs> just dusty bastards everywhere. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> just dusty men everywhere. <laughs> if it's not six figures, you could still be classed as a dusty by proper garden tool. But no more waffling, no more waffling. Let's begin. Hey girls, my name is Rochelle. I am the host of the Pretty Life channel here on YouTube. As you can see on the title, I am going to talk about broke men. Yes, the signs that you are dealing with a broke man. Now, some of this is satire. Some people might get butt hurt, but it's okay. I really want to talk about this. So let's get into it. Now, if you see me looking down, I took some notes. These notes are based on personal experience. So let's get it popping okay now one of the signs that you can tell that he's basically fraudulent and also broke is let's say you see his instagram profile and he's posting photos of luxury cars or one luxury car you see a trend he's always posting that one picture and basically he's a, you know wants you to believe that it's his car now i know people post photos of different things like watches and jewelry and things like that some people do that for inspiration but I'm talking about the guys that are claiming that that car is his but when you meet him in real life he's got all these excuses oh that car is in the shop 
oh, you know, something happened with that car. It got in a wreck. Yet she was kind of smiling when she said it, didn't she? You know, from her past dusty experience. In some way, it seemed like she liked it, you know? But when you meet him in real life, he's got all these excuses. Oh, that car is in the shop. Oh, you know, something happened with that car. It got in a wreck. Personal experience. Experience. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And when you see him, his lifestyle doesn't match the lifestyle on Instagram. You know what I mean? Like, if he's trying to take you out on a date, he's not trying to take you out to those places that he has on his Instagram feed. He's only trying to take you to Applebee's. And there's nothing wrong with Applebee's, but if he's showing you all these photos of him at these luxury restaurants and these luxury hotels or whatever he claimed he's going, he probably can't afford that lifestyle. He's just basically catfishing girls. You know, I live in the UK. You know, I've heard of Applebee's before, but I thought it sounded posh. So I thought Applebee's was, you know, some upper class kind of high class sort of thing. Applebee's. Yo, 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 I'm going to take my chick yeah. to Applebee's. Yeah, she's going to have a good time. <laughs> Yeah, that probably sounds stupid to Americans listening, but Applebee's, you know, it sounds it sounds posh. But it's probably a low budget place, isn't it? That's probably why she's being taken there. Some women don't know their worth. Yeah, you're worth Applebee's. <laughs> On Instagram, he probably can't even afford valet at some of these places. So steer clear of guys that post a lot of like jewelry photos or photos and then you actually see a photo of them it's like a tight shot and it looks like they're in like some random walmart bathroom probably at their job that's a broke man okay that's the first sign that he's broke <laughs> even though he's got a job as i've said before men most of you are dusty men even if you have a job, just because you don't have the extra amount, the ridiculous amount that some of you may not have yet because you're working on it as you should be. But just because you have a job, men, you're, you're still seen as a dusty. And just remember that. <laughs> All of you are dusty. Just like a woman. Even if you're working. When you go out to a restaurant, he orders your food for you. Now, some women think, oh, that's so chivalrous. He's being such a gentleman. No, he's being broke, okay? He's either being controlling too, but he's also being broke, especially if you're at a chain restaurant. Now, I don't have really a problem with a chain restaurant, but... To Applebee's, yeah. She's going to have a good time. <laughs> the reason why he's ordering for you is because he doesn't want you to order off the other side of the menu. He wants to stick in the $20 range because he's broke, okay? And he want to make sure that you order water and nothing else. Look, as a woman, if you need to eat more than $20 or £20 worth of food, she's crazy. Yeah. Maybe that's why so many women are overweight nowadays, because... No one cares. They want expensive meals. <laughs> it's very expensive meals. Not fancy expensive, just bigger bulk meals. So you take her to Applebee's and spend, what, $120 in Applebee's? To Applebee's, yeah. She's going to have a good time. <laughs> you know, is that a lot in Applebee's? <laughs> No wine, no type of liquor. You can't get a margarita because he's broke, okay? Also, when the check comes, he stares at the check. He looks at it. He stares at it because he's thinking in his mind like, oh my gosh, do I have enough money? He's like... He's probably seeing if you're worth it or not. 23 pounds? 23 dollars? Please. Ah. That's too much. Trying to figure out, okay how much money he got in his bank account. Then he pulls his wallet out and he's like fiddling around at the cards. Now, some guys will choose this chance to try to do the 50-50 or they'll try to do, oh, you know, do the Dutch thing. But a lot of broke men, they, they may have a little bit of coof to them. They're not going to tell you to go Dutch, but they ain't got the money really to take you out, but they want to take you out anyway. If he's looking at the check that long, He's broke because if he had the money, he would have pulled his money out, put it in the envelope, you know, put it in the thing and put it off to the side for the waitress to come get. So that's a good sign that he's broke. OK, it doesn't take that long to pay. OK, also. I do this test 
when I first started talking to somebody. Maybe it's wrong of me, but I don't care. Like, for example, when I am, you know, on the phone with someone, a guy that I'm dating, and he's asking me what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, I'm about to run some errands. I'm about to go to the bank. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. That's what's up. And then he'll say, oh, well, who do you bank with? Applebee's, yeah. If you understand these tactics... If you know exactly what she's talking about, because you understand, it's because you're dusty. It's because you're dusty. We're all dusties, man. Most of us are dusties. We're not, we're not all high value men. You know, we're just dusties, you know, it hasn't stopped us anyway. Has it, has it stopped us? You still find women annoying you, don't you? And bothering you, wanting your time and energy, even if you're a dusty. So be proud of your dust, man. Be proud of your dust. Just like a woman. And there's crickets. <laughs> And there's crickets. He doesn't say anything. He changes the subject because he doesn't have a bank account. An adult needs a bank account. Okay? That's basic adulting. If he doesn't have a bank account, he's probably broke, sis. Also, he's probably getting his money on a pay card. Most people know what a pay card is. If you don't know what a pay card is, it's a card that employers issue to people who don't have a bank account or maybe for some reason maybe they have something on their check systems that they can't get a bank account maybe the IRS is after them or something so they get their money well if the IRS was after you your your check would be garnished right Applebee's yeah I don't know why people get pay cards I, you know I, I had one on my very first job. That's how I know about pay cards, but I was a silence, you fool. But yeah, many women fill their past with nothing but dusty men. Some not even working dusty men, the lower of lowest dusty men. The thing is, most of these women are average at best, but the only time they realize it is when men with options, even dusty men, let them know, hey, you think you're good, but you're average at best at best here here woof woof as men yeah indeed indeed but for now focus observe remember the world is yours have a nice day